so hello guys and welcome back so today we are back with another good question from the math explorers paid papers and this one is a small cute but good question so i hope you can try it out so guys no further talk if you want please try out this question once by pausing the video maybe i will wait for a few seconds and then i will also start solving okay so guys first of all like the let's start off so let a function f from real to real be defined as f of x equal to lot of things given and a b c d are real numbers if f of x is continuous at x equal to 0 and another function g of x is defined as x times f of x then which of the following is or are correct this is what we have to find so let, without further ado let's start off okay so guys here is the function definition piecewise function definition for our function f of x and like this pi value doesn't matter too much for us because we are going to find out the values so like for this to be continuous first thing is everyone of us knows right limit x tends to 0 minus of f of x would be equal to limit x is tending to 0 plus f of x would be equal to f of 0 right so f of 0 i hope if x is tending to 0 plus minus whatever e power x will always tend to 1 right so actually using the principal values this cot inverse x and tan inverse x they would come out to be pi by 4 so this would become a pi by 4 plus b is equal to c pi by 4 plus d so guys if you like evaluate this thing then this will come out to be a pi plus 4b is equal to c pi plus 4d so this thing actually automatically makes option number a correct and like if we do a little bit of switching then we will get pi times a minus c is equal to 4 times d minus b which i hope is option number c so a and c are already correct like two options already correct but we have to check the rest also so guys there was a function g of x is equal to this is a really small question i know but still let's solve g of x is equal to x times f of x at x is equal to 0 right okay so if g of 0 is equal to like if g of 0 is equal to 0 i'm sorry not 0 g of 0 is 0 into f of 0 so yeah it is coming out to be 0 only so if your f is continuous at 0 and also we can see f is bounded near 0 this is near okay I know my handwriting is not worth reading but please bear with me so f is continuous at 0 and bounded near 0 which means limit of x is tending to 0 g of x this thing will be equal to limit x is tending to 0 x times f of x which is equal to g of 0 or rather 0 right so guys like i hope from this particular point option number d comes out to be correct right but still we have to check on the differentiability so for the differentiability we will use the very common definition of g dash zero which will be limit h tends to zero g of h minus zero which is g of h minus g of zero by h minus zero which is h so this thing will come out to be limit h is tending to zero h times f of h minus 0 by h which is equal to limit of h is tending to 0 f of h which is equal to f of 0 so this actually comes out to be i guess f of 0 right so your f of 0 i guess if we look at the definition of the function this thing is equal to pi so if g dash is 0 it's well defined it is a finite value it is not undefined or infinite value so really easily i guess our answer will be a b c and d like from here it is c option and so answers are a b c and d all the options right so i hope the question is done guys this was a really easy question but i thought sometimes easy questions also do because anyways you have to prepare for your mains also right so guys i hope that will be the end for this video today really short video but it was good right 
so if you have liked my channel guys do like share and subscribe any other recommendations or anything you want to say come out in the comment section and also do join my telegram discussion chat because we are having a lot of fruitful discussion there for your exams okay so that's it for today guys and thanks for watching